my M Tech life at IIT Madras is a complete mess because I didn't get placed. Two years preparing for this exam, got an admission at IIT Madras, secured 8.69 CGPA, published a paper in Springer. Is that all a waste of effort? Or is it like, as a student, I have done any fault? Or is it the standard of IITs is ready? So the million dollar question is, is doing an M Tech in IIT is worth anymore? Or in generic words, is IIT worth your hard work? In this video, I'll share my honest review of my M Tech at IIT Madras and honest reality of M Tech placements at IITs. Also, I have shared some untold opportunity for you if your gate exam gone bad. So let's start. Let's start with the very first big question: Is M Tech in IIT is worth anymore? Now the reason I made this video is many if you have asked me about making a detailed video about mtech in iit and i tried my best to provide you clear cut information by interacting with the head of placements at iit to the students who are placed at iit and i believe this will help you a lot on making the right decisions after gate and struggling to get good admission at iit finally when i joined iit madras i am the most happiest person i ever know because my gate exam score is low despite trying for 2 years and i was like I got Oh. Hey. Go no. Salute me. Humiliation. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh my god, the biscuit got over. Let's steal one from my brother. Yeah, I am IIT and uh, you need to give one extra. Uh, Honestly, I was so happy. I was out of my world. Day passes by. I started my classes at IIT. First year though went on by COVID. And second year, I packed everything and I came back to IIT. I was so happy. And when I came to IIT, I observed the placements has been going on. And one thing I observed was having an IIT tag opens up a lot of opportunities. There will be a lot of companies that will come for placements and you will get an opportunity to sit in all of them. So if you don't perform well in one company, he or she can write the next company exams well and get placed in another company. That's when I realized studying in an IIT is actually a great head start of your career. Because I never seen anything like this in my undergrad and I never heard from anyone who seeks jobs off campus. So IIT is equal to a lot of opportunity. Not simply that, if you are an IITian, that will open up a lot of doors for you. Like for example, recently we founded a startup and got incubated at Nirman. We received funds and so much support for nurturing the startup and having an IITian tag have much more impact. Also, one time I attended a talk with Shark Tank host Vinita Singh. She came to our campus for Shastra event. She mentioned one of the primary factors they will invest in the startup is who is building the startup. And having an IIT and tag is an unfair advantage because cracking into IIT takes a lot of hard work and persistence and that is very much required for a startup success. So IIT is definitely worth it. But Raghu, still we can't accept the fact because recently we have read articles and videos which mention the placements at IITs are declining. Is that even true? Let me share the honest reality of placements at IIT this year in general and MTech placements in specific. Also in the later parts of the video, I'll explain what I'm currently doing now despite I'm not getting placed. So I wanted to find out whether the placements is actually bad this year. So I checked out the website of IIT Madras, IIT Bombay, but I can't able to find the detailed stats of placements. So I talked with the placement coordinator here at IIT Madras and the students who have actually given placements at IIT so Madras. Firstly, yes, it is true. The placements this year at IITs have slightly a negative impact due to the recession, but the effect is lesser in IIT Madras, Bombay and Delhi. Overall, how is the placements for MTEX this year? It's very good. I, when compared with last year, it's it's good this year. Yeah. Why are you saying it is good? Because I have seen many stats that placements here is actually reducing. During the first phase, till November, the number of companies registered was uh, very less. Very less okay. But post November 15, it got increased and uh, like uh, even in my department, when compared with last year, this year like the number of placement offers got increased. Okay. Their average CTC has got increased. But statistically, this year the consult companies hire less people. Companies which usually take eight to ten this year on and around they took two to three. Why? Because due to recession, the consult companies received less cases. So only if the company gets more cases, they can hire more candidates. And apart from consult, if you look at the core branches the placement is 
actually good now what about non core companies in non core companies there are some impact but some companies like microsoft more number of candidates this year and let me tell you in the later parts of the video i'll share you some good opportunities where even if your gate exam doesn't went well you can able to get that high paying job but despite all the recession and all iit bombay has more than 85 people got 1 crore plus package so in general the placements in iit has some effect but but to other college placements it is not that was also if you are an iitian you can sit for placements next year if you can't able to place this year like one of my friend his name is prajwal he did exactly the same but is there any catch yes sometimes depending upon the placement team they will not let you sit in the day 1 or day 2 now what is day 1 day 2 day 1 means the very first day of placement so day 1 day 2 means the first two days of placement so you can actually start attending the interviews from day 3 but also at the same time i was interacting with a lot of people who got placed and after some time they told me ragu we got fired from the company so why it is happening so i started interacting with students and industry leaders to find out the exact reason why people are getting fired i have seen many blogs or something like that people iitians from top tech companies like amazon or something like that they are getting fired so what what do you think is the reason for that so a major problem that we have with our indian mindset is basically we are stopping our learning after a certain point of time True. so once you move into iit so what happens is you know you feel that okay i have achieved the you know the yeah. maximum that i can i strongly believe this quote from neval ravikant says the most important skill for getting rich is become a perpetual learner the old model of making money is going to school for 4 years get your degree and work professional for 30 years but things are changing rapidly now now you have come up to speed on a new profession within 9 months and is completely obsolete 4 years later it is much more important to be able to become an expert in a brand new field in 9 to 12 months that's the point i realized getting into iit is a real head start for you in terms of career in terms of placements research and entrepreneurship but if you want to do really well you should be a perpetual learner and seek mastery in your skills you know there shouldn't be any gap between you and the skill set that is required for the industry now let's answer the third big question ragu i have given gate exam and my marks didn't went well what's your recommendation i have just two recommendations because i believe just because gate didn't went well your dream to get that top level career shouldn't go down everyone deserves to get that top level career my recommendation would be always to try for ms in top iits no matter the brand. so hey guys right now i am here with vishnu vishnu is from uh, ocean engineering department doing his mtech in research and he got recently placed in air india with how much package it is it's 20 woo 10 years of body <laughs> okay so uh, Uh, he's not going to give party <laughs> <laughs> tell me like you are a ocean engineering student and you got placed in which role in software developer role so as a ocean engineering student how many companies you can able to sit uh, the count was around 40 to 50 i don't know exactly i don't know how many students actually placed this year in ocean engineering ms this year we have around like only one left like around all others got placed oh everyone placed except one if you can able to get in summer then try for winter there is one more admission that will happen in iits at december that is winter at that time the competition will be less so prepare for the written exam give the interview and just join my second recommendation is studying abroad i still remember after i attempted gate exam for second time and getting low marks in the second attempt with career in stake and social pressure i started searching for all the maximum possible opportunities for a gate aspirant to get good career so that's when i discovered top universities in the world like tu men or wth asian you can study there with zero tuition fees if you have a valid gate score and not simply that many german universities waives fees off if you have a valid gate score even more nus singapore which is ranked us rank 8 and ntu singapore which was ranking 9th in the overall world ranking one of the primary criteria for getting admission there is a valid gate score instead of gre and to be honest the career there is much more better than the career at iit And finally my MTech at IIT Madras may be a complete mess in terms of placement but honestly I was not interested in placement at all but honestly IIT Madras is completely a life changing one in my career because it helped me to become an entrepreneur it helped me with all the resources and support to become one and always never ever believe when someone says you can't do it if someone is saying that you can't able to do it that means they can't able to do it not you it's their point of view you or a champion i believe that all it takes is to be observed and how to do the thing that you are aspiring for successfully and executing it and also persistence is also required as simple as that you will get lucky and so stay driven gang stay driven bye bye yeah thank you
Thank you very much. It was actually really nice talking. Yeah, very nice, and all the best for your startup. Yes, sir. And uh, please inspire people, uh, inspire people to uh, follow your line. And right, keep right. it very nice, and uh, yes, I wish all the success. Definitely. Yes, sir. And hopefully. Thank you, Delhi.